Hello. The topics I'll cover today are the economic person, rational self-interest, and economics as a science. When studying economic behavior, economists make the assumption that individuals are rational and self-interested. Now, this is not to be confused with egotism. Economists say you are considered rational because you know what is best for yourself. That is, you do not make decisions that make you worse off. Self-interest is often misinterpreted. Economists do not assume people are selfish, although some definitely are. Self-interest doesn't refer only to the satisfaction of material wants, but also the welfare of others. It includes individuals pursuing goals relating to love, friendship, and many other matters that make them and those around them better off. Now, economics is a social science that seeks explanations of real life events. Economists use models and theories to make the economic world seem easier to understand. An economic model should capture only the essential relationships that are sufficient to analyze particular problems being studied. Assumptions are used to help understand, analyze, and predict economic changes, such as changes in price and income in individual choices and how those choices affect certain markets and the economy as a whole. Now, economists often use the phrase caeteris paribus when they build economic models. This is the assumption that nothing changes except the factors being studied. Now, you will see this term used a lot in economics. Let's look at an example. Suppose the price of beef increased by 20%. Will this result in less beef being sold to the consumer? How can we be sure that the quantity demanded was caused by the price change? What if on the day of the price change, the FDA placed health warnings on beef? Was the change in the quantity sold caused by the health warning or the price change? Whatever those factors were, we hold them constant. Economists would say an increase in the price of beef, beef will result caeteris paribus in less beef being sold to consumers. We assume there are only two variables, the price of beef and the quantity bought. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.